what? No, 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 you're not gonna do that here. You're not gonna do that here. Hey, 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 what it do, Chaos Crew? If you're new around here, hi, I'm Coley, as seen by a subscriber, as as whatever you want to call me, or at least those three things. If not, I'm going to come for your throat. No, I'm just playing. So, um, around here, we do things like commentary. Basically, we see shit and we say shit. You know what I mean? Anything I might find interesting, want to talk about, whatever that may be. So, into the video. So, for this video, I'm going to have pull a Tira Nicole. Um, if you don't know her, I'm sure you do. She is a commentary... I'm sorry, Tira. No, you're not. She's an opinion-based YouTube channel. And um, I'll link her below. But anyways, um, she always says things like, The YouTube God showed me. And I can assure you that this is exactly what happened with me today. Okay? So, I don't watch streams unless there's like panels of people. And like I know the topic or whatever, right? I just don't watch back old streams. I just don't. I think it's boring and whatever. Anyways, so... I was on a channel named CC Suarez. Her name's Chelsea. She's big into the anti-MLM world. Um, she does different things, true crime stuff, but mainly anti-MLM. So, for some random ass reason, um, this video popped up in my recommended, and for some reason I clicked it, which never, ever, ever, ever happens. I'm telling y'all, it doesn't happen. So, she's just randomly talking, and the only reason I even let it keep playing was because I was cleaning, right? Well, all of a sudden, I heard her be like, what? You know, so I stop for a second and then I see a familiar face that she's highlighted the comment on the screen. It's a chick named um, Queen of Spade, I think. Anyways, but I remembered her from a few years back. I saw her video regarding something and I knew that she was super erratic. Just somebody I didn't vibe with. How about that? So anyway, it weirded me out to see her in Chelsea's video all of a sudden she asked chelsea if she wanted to do like a i don't know if it was a video or a podcast or something with her and chelsea was like no thank you right well this chick proceeds to continuously comment and say shit that chelsea never said it was really fucking weird uh huh no thank you anyways Do you love me? You had me blocked on Instagram for no reason. Not that I wanted to have you follow me on Instagram anyways, but you had me blocked on Instagram. Are you sure you love me? Yikes. Yeah. I mean, maybe you're not the person I was thinking of, but there was someone by the username of Queen of Spade last year that was starting lots of unnecessary stuff with a bunch of people, and I wanted no part of it. And their content was extremely unhinged and strange, and I was just like, I want no part of this person. Hmm. But yeah, and there's no there's no drama or beef or anything. I just don't want anything to do with that person. And if that person is you, I will. Okay, you're not gonna do that. I didn't say anything about you being addicted to drugs. I didn't know about any of that, or you being homeless. I never said you were a bad person. But you know, no, 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 no. You're not gonna do that here. You're not gonna do that here. And just saying that I didn't want to. Like that's it. No beef. Just didn't want to associate with you. That's it. You're not going to victim shame or blame or twist my words at all. So, there you go. Jesus Christ. All right. What? I guess we shame people for mental health and how they deal with trauma here. Good luck helping people out of MLMs with your channel. I don't need luck. I do a very good job at what I do. Thank you. And I'm not shaming you at all. I'm just saying I did. I don't. I don't. Not interested in a professional relationship with you. That is all I'm saying. I am not, I did not say anything else. So this is, it is exactly the very good reason of why I don't want to associate with you because you tend to twist words and I'm not about that life at all. So goodbye. In one of the little clips, she's saying that Chelsea is shaming her because she was an ex drug addict and her mental health issues or whatever. Well, first of all, if you watched Chelsea's content, like talking about it, she's talked about her own mental health issues. She's talked about her own recovery issues. I'm not going to talk about them because it's not my place to, but they are on her channel. So I don't understand why the fuck she would insinuate that Chelsea was, you know, shaming her when she's been through the same things. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And that is not what Chelsea said, clearly, okay? Anyway, so it, it prompted me to go back to her channel because I was like, well... Why would I see her over here on the anti-MLM world? Because she's not, from what I understood, she's not around that, but I don't watch her. 
So I went to her channel and I started looking, okay? So I hit one of her recent videos and it was amazing to me, and I'm gonna put it in right here, what she said in her video after telling someone that they were shaming her for anything, right? And without further ado, let's go make fun of my favorite flat earther. Y'all, y'all, you know, you heard that, right? That is fucking blatant hypocrisy at its motherfucking finest. Wow. Anyways, I went back and also noticed something on her channel, right? I looked at her sub count and then I looked at her views and something isn't right. The math ain't mathin', okay? Now, I went really, really, really far back on her channel, right? So she's had a few, I saw three that I can think of that hit about a thousand views, right? But if you're looking at her engagement compared to her subs, I get more engagement than she does. I've been on here for five months and nothing has catapulted me to no top because I'm a very, very tiny micro channel. So tell me why her engagement's like that. I checked Social Blade. It's not anything fishy. It doesn't seem like it to me. And I don't want to accuse her of some shit she didn't do. However, I think this just goes to show you that her behavior, her erratic behavior, um, she's very crass, very um, hypocritical, period, right? I think people are seeing that, and so therefore, they're not engaging. A lot of times, people will subscribe to a channel, but they don't go back and unsubscribe. They just stop watching, and so I think that's what's happening on her channel. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Anyway, have y'all heard of this Queen of Spades chick? I I've never, ever, ever seen anybody... I don't know. There's just something about her that rubs me the really fucking wrong way. And it's crazy because I have not even thought about her nor seen a video from her or anything in like like two years. Like right when she started her fucking channel. Anyway, um, yeah. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. And then tell me if you know who she is. If you have any stories. If you disagree with what you think I'm saying. I I'm good with that. We can have a conversation. There's no reason to act like you are two years old. And come and call people names. Because once you start doing that, everything that you've ever said before that is completely thrown out the window. Because it makes your opinion less valid to me. Because you're sitting here demeaning someone to get your opinion across, right? I know that when I first started YouTube, I was very um, emboldened and rude. However, I'm trying not to be that way. I'm trying to grow and learn and figure it out. And I've had many, many conversations with people who don't agree with me in my comment section. Not only that, some people have sent me in the right direction to be able to understand more of their point of view. And it has actually changed my mind. But you coming in my comment section telling me I'm a dumbass or I'm dense because I think it's in one way or another, that's just fucking dumb. And it makes you look dumb. Okay? I'm allowed my fucking opinion on my channel. If you don't like it, kick rocks. I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. Period. So, while editing this video, I was literally about to post it right now, and I saw a video of hers, right? Because I don't want anybody to think that I am picking on this girl. I'm not. I'm just stating my fucking opinion. You know how I am. I'm really not a mean person. I mean, some people might think I am, but I'm not. Anyway, I saw a title of her video, and it said, it's kind of an older video, and it said something about, am I in drama, or am I insane, or something? And what she says in the video is so me. I had to throw this in here because I feel like now I can relate to her even more. And I wanted people to know that. I don't want to be fake. At the beginning of this video, I didn't like her behavior. Still don't. I still think it was inappropriate. However, I now understand her more. And it's very, her, her start on YouTube is very reminiscent of myself. So, I'm going to put this in here. And then after that, um, yeah, we'll talk about it. You know, and I think... I think a lot of us get caught up in dramas out here. I know one of my big issues was that I watched a lot of YouTube before I came on here. And I really liked a lot of creators. And I got pulled into wanting to stick up for them. I got pulled into wanting to have people's back out here. And maybe I shouldn't have. Because, like I said, there were some people that maybe I shouldn't have stuck up for at one time. But I think we all go through that. And you have to learn who people are because people are not always who they portray themselves to be in videos on YouTube. Now, if that ain't me, I don't know what the fuck is. 
she literally explained exactly how I started on YouTube. I watched a lot of YouTube, and then I felt the need to defend someone, and maybe they weren't worth defending. I still have a respect for said person, but I don't think I should have been out here in these streets defending her and white knighting for people like that. And deep down, I'm not that person. Deep down, I'm a good person. I'm not an evil, vile, vindictive person. I'm really not. So that, and that's how I was, you know, thinking I was being. I thought I was defending someone worth defending. You know what I mean? And the conversations that I had before, I truly thought that um, my attitude, it was warranted because of other people and that were being mean or I felt were being mean. And, and that was just what it was. And it's not going to happen again. I can assure you of that. Will I always defend my friends? Yeah. But I'm always going to now make sure that they are my friend before I defend them. You know? Anyways, this video really came full circle. So, yeah. You know, I just want to throw that in there because I don't want anybody to think that I'm picking on her because I'm not. And I'm also going to let her know I made a video about her even though I don't know her. <laughs> just so she can understand my perspective. And she won't, like, have it, you know, hit her blindsided because eventually you know somebody's gonna tell her I'm sure and then she's gonna be upset with me because a lot of people don't watch the end of videos I always keep telling y'all watch till the end <laughs> so you can see everything but most people don't so if she probably will start watching it and then she'll hear what I have to say and she won't finish till the end and she won't see that I'm relating to her and she won't see all that so she's gonna probably not take it very well so I figure maybe I can soften the blow <laughs> by telling her myself you know anyways I'll talk to y'all later. I have an update about the whole threatening situation. So, yeah. Love y'all. Bye.